So another option is to tune using a tuning app, and these are kind of cool. Most of them are free, and it's almost like a little video game, so it might be a fun option for you to, to tune your guitar with. Now, one thing I will say about using a device is, uh, is there's a little tiny microphone that's basically listening to like everything. Okay, so um, if you're in a, a really noisy room, uh, it may be hard for this thing to pick up on just your guitar. As you can see, it's listening to my voice and hearing all the different notes that my voice is making. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you can get into a, a quiet space, you'll have better success with with something like this. Okay, so let's try it out. I'm gonna play my low E string and we'll see what to do. Okay, so it's telling me it's too low and I need to bring that little red, that little red ball there into the center. So, so as I turn the tuner, it's getting closer to the center. Starting to turn green. There we go. Cool. So it, it dings at you when, when you're in tune. So that's kind of cool. Let's go on to the next string. This is our A. Okay, that one's too high. So I'll bring that one below the line. And then bring it up. There we go. There's our A. On to the D string. Also too high. I'll bring that one down. See these little numbers right here? Minus two, when I play that D, it's telling me it's two cents out of tune, or two cents flat. Okay, so even though it's kind of green, you wanna get it as close to zero as you can. There we go, see this green, you get the little check mark. We'll call that D string good. Let's go on to G. So G is too low. Now one thing you have to be careful about with uh, with some of these tuning apps, um, if this string, say this string was like way out of tune, like, oh, I don't know, like maybe it was super flat. Look, it's picking it up as the D, okay? Even though I'm actually playing the G string, it's reading that as a D, okay? So be be aware of something like that, okay? If you know that you're playing your G string, you want to get it up to where it's in G territory. Good. Now, similarly, if I make this G way too sharp, I'm almost afraid to do this. If I make it too sharp, it may start to read it as a B. Yeah, there we go. See? Okay. If I were to keep going, that G string is just gonna bust on me, which is not good. So I'm gonna bring that down. There we go, now it's in tune, okay? So little stuff like this you wanna watch out for when you're tuning. Now my B string, too high. Bring it down. And then we're good, and then finally onto my E string was just a little bit too low. Good, and always a good idea to double check everything. It's telling my me my instrument is in tune. We're just making sure everything's all good. Great, ready to play.